Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna be on a little bit of a rant today um, because it's spring break and I've been doing um, quite a good bit of um, tuning remotely for some people that have reached out with some various things, um, just a little bit here and there. One of the things that I'm having concerns about uh, that people are doing, like name, big name company people that do this for a living, um, is the spark tables and how they, um, you know, from one side they put in one number and then they jump over a couple rows and put just another flat number for a few rows and then over again. And the different zones, the different running zones of the engine like different types of timing uh, in terms of whether it's more or less and how it transitions. So. Um, we're going to look at real quick just a bone stock uh, file that I use for my Yukon um, and we're going to look at the way the graph um, looks and we're going to start with the in park and in drive table because when you do, um, say you do a camshaft, um, the, uh, the first thing you've got to do typically is update the idle spark advance um, in drive and in park tables. So this is what a stock uh, 5.3 Yukon is going to come with. Okay, so you can see it starts at 18. Um, over here, this is the startup and the idle. Um, somewhere around, you know, 800 to 1200, you know, it's 20 or 21 degrees. You know, and for especially for a bigger camshaft, that's usually where you've got to be. You can go a little bit less and get a little bit more chop out of it. This zone down here, this is for um, if you were towing or in a low gear, you're going to be at high cylinder air mass, high load, high tax on the engine and at a low speed. Um, these engines do not like um, a lot of timing down there. That's, what that's where they will knock and ping this, that and the other. And it's just not good. Now again, this is the in park and in drive table where essentially um, anything where the throttle is closed, like on deceleration, that's considered in park or in drive. Um, so deceleration is going to be up here. There's a bunch of timing up here to burn some of the excess fuel off. Um, you know, so this is what the graph kind of looks like. It's, uh, it moves nicely. It transitions nicely. Um, but we'll open a tune file. I'm not going to show the name of where the file came from. But this is a file that I opened um, the other day. Let me see here. And we'll compare it. And without even looking at the numbers, this is what the two look like. You have kind of these slopes and valleys and nice smooth transitions, and then you have this big giant wedge that goes up. Now granted, this is an in park or in drive table, but um, this is not really good uh, just for any kind of driving conditions, depending on especially if somebody else drives the vehicle um, and if it's kind of temperamental. Um, and we're starting to see that too in some of the high octane tables too, where you know it's easier to look at it like this. So this is a bone stock, you know, truck. Um, it it is, it has uh, you know timing missing in the areas where it doesn't need it. Um, and then you have over here like the wide open throttle range. You know, it's a stock truck, so it's fairly conservative. Versus the high octane table for this other tune, where it just kind of. It goes straight up essentially and then it just kind of hangs out um, and so definitely want to uh, kind of caution people about that that's and I'll pull up another one um, that this is just not really the best way um, let's see what am I looking for oh here's a good one this one uh, was for a big um, like 416 cubic inch LS3 uh, shop truck, uh, pickup truck type deal. There again, have this huge giant deal. I mean, even if this is the in park or the in drive table, this is not what you want your spark tables to look like. Um, let's go over here and look at the, and there again, this is the stock one. And there's some little bulges here and there, but like, again, they were doing some tuning on this, but you can see here, I can kind of show you that they have these block numbers, 25 degrees, 28 degrees, 29 degrees, and there's no transition. And you can see that here. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you guys are being careful and asking questions if you're not knowledgeable about this stuff. This is the kind of stuff that someone should be able to show you um, and kind of explain to you. But using these, these block numbers like this is just not really a good idea. Um, I'll show you what one of the files from my current truck 
that I drive every day looks like. Where's it at? Where's the newest one? Here we go. Let it load. So one of the things that I like to do um, is let's open another compare file. Let's open the stock one. Stock tune files, bone stock file. Okay, so if we go to Spark, we go to in park and in drive. Um, you know, so there again, this is the one that's in my truck now um, versus what the stock one looks like. And they look kind of similar. The biggest thing is that I just changed um, some of the values down here just to kind of smooth them out. I, I like the truck to idle a little bit stronger down low um, when it's, you know, sitting there. Um, so I will, um, I will uh, make sure that um, I take a little bit more timing out of it. Of course, it still has to run, but like down here um, in this area, you definitely want to make sure that you don't have negative numbers. That's where you'll get uh, popping and backfiring and stuff like that, especially up here as well. Um, you've got to have enough timing to burn all the excess fuel. Uh, I like to go in here and make these numbers, you know, like five or six or something like that, just so it has some timing in it. Um, but this is what it should look like. It looks kind of similar. Obviously, every combination is going to be different, but um, yeah, just make sure you guys are out there asking questions about this stuff and, you know, um, that you're just not being misled. And um, if your timing tables look like that, there's a solid chance your VE table and your math frequency table, all that stuff's going to look the same. So you just, just, you guys be careful out there if you need anything. Hit us up, uh, check out the website, check out the YouTube page, uh, the Facebook business page, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.